What is up you guys? It is your boy Brent and Vegas here and welcome to another video and today's video we are going to be doing the week 8 predictions. Man, uh, this is gonna come by a little fast, not gonna lie. It's already week 8. It's kind of weird to think about, but yeah, but before you get in today's video, like and subscribe. Yeah, anyway, Getting the 450 subscribers, uh, but anyway, enough said. Let's get into the video. It's starting out with Thursday Night Football. We got the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Now, at first, you probably think of this match, you're probably thinking, oh my god, it's gotta be the Vikings. Before you think, oh, it's the Vikings, don't be too sure of it. Rams obviously, no, just almost well, lost to the Raiders, and while the Vikings almost won against the Vikings, Rams didn't have Cooper Cup, and he's expected to come back playing in this game. <coughs> so, so he should be, um, sorry about the so twice, um, that can make a big difference to that entire offense. I mean, obviously, again, that offense is kind of struggling without uh, an elite receiver like okay, Cooper Cup. So I think with him maybe being here, I think I want the Rams here to win here. I know, I know it's a little crazy, but with the Vikings just not been known for being great in the second half, and we're already already at week eight. I think this makes a lot of sense. Then, finally, we got our first Sunday games. We got the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Cleveland Browns. I mean, I don't think this is really a lot of question here. I got to go with the Baltimore Ravens. Like, bruh, I don't even know if that's even a question. On to the next one, Colts and Texans. I think this is also a very obvious one as well. I'm going with the Texans. I know this game was pretty close last time, but that team has been injury prone as of late. And I got a... A little bit of an interesting game is maybe not a lot of people might think. We got the Green Bay Mother Loving Packers taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Packers barely got out of with a W against the Houston Texans while the Jacksonville decimated the Patriots. Now you're like, okay, this is easily the Packers. Don't be too sure. Jordan Love has been not great in terms of throwing interceptions. And I know Jacksonville didn't make any interceptions. That doesn't mean they can't make interceptions in this game. So, but I'm still going to go with the Packers, but don't be too surprised that Jacksonville does end up winning this game. Another 12 o'clock game, we got the Tennessee Titans taking on Detroit. I, I mean, again, this is a pretty easy one. It's Detroit. I don't think there's even a question. Then we got the Falcons versus the Bucks, and this is gonna be a very interesting matchup just because the Bucks are at home. But I mean, I think it's gonna be the Falcons here. Like I know they got destroyed by the Seahawks, but like the Buccaneers defense isn't that good, and their offense isn't even that good either now since they've lost both Mike Evans and Chris Godwin for this game. So that just makes a lot of sense. Then on to the next game, we got the Jets versus the Patriots. This is going to be a pretty ugly game if I had to imagine to watch. I am going to go with the Jets to win here. Uh, then we got the Cardinals versus the Dolphins. Tua is going to come back for this game, which I think all that on its own will give the Dolphins the W here. And then we got our last 12 o'clock game, which is actually probably going to be the best out of all of them, I'd say. We got the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Now that's going to be a little bit of a tough one because like the Bengals defense isn't really that good while you're looking at the Eagles offense and it's actually momentarily very very good and then obviously again the Eagles defense has struggled against good offenses and the Bengals do have an actual good offense. So this is a kind of a hard one to decide but I think I am going to go with just the Bengals just because they have the winning factor of being at home. Then we got the 305 games, which we got the New Orleans Saints taking on the Las Vegas, or actually not the Las Vegas Raiders, Los Angeles Chargers. 
And I'm going to go with Chargers. I think this is a pretty simple one. Saints have been collapsing as of late. They've lost five straight. The Chargers, on the other hand, have at least won when they were losing five straight. So I think it makes a lot of sense. Then we got another 305 game. But I think this is going to be a very uh, spicy game to watch here. You got the Buffalo Bills taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Um, I really wish I could watch this game because this game would be a blast to watch. Um, because this is going to be a really close game. I think this is going to be a very close game. You got a very good offense and defense for both teams, but I am going to go with the Buffalo Bills to win here, just because they've been playing a little bit better, even though there have been sometimes they played awfully inconsistent. So, yeah. Then we got a 325 games. We got the Chicago Bears taking on the Washington Commanders. And I think without a doubt, I think it's going to be the Bears to get the W here. Again, with the Commanders, most likely uh, Jalen Daniels will at least, at least miss a game. I just don't see Marcus Mariota doing that much unless he plays like he did against the Panthers. Following that, we got uh, the Chiefs versus the Raiders. Um, and again, I think I'm going to go with the Chiefs here. I think this is a pretty obvious one. Then you got the Panthers and the Broncos, Super Bowl 50 rematch. And I'm going to go with the Broncos. I mean, just it's pretty simple. Broncos got a good defense, good offense. All the cheap Panthers through the Panthers. It just suck. Uh, Sunday night, I think this is going to be a very easy one with the Cowboys versus the Niners. I'm going to go with the Niners. That's a pretty easy one as well. And then you also got the New York Giants taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I'm also going to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, uh, and by the way, there were no teams to have a bye week. So this is actually, I think, one of the first times in a while since a team can actually, or during a week, that isn't like the beginning of the end of this season. That are not going to have any teams of bikes. So that's actually very interesting. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy.